Hi guys, welcome to the short video about how to activate the incognito private mode with the Opera browser. The Opera browser has been alone for a long time, but it has had some quite some innovations in the last time, so it gets interesting more and more again. So I wanted to give it a try. And so how to do if you don't want to get tracked by uh, whatever company so you have to go to the menu and the menu is a little bit hard to find actually it is here you wouldn't expect that it, it doesn't have a sign just click on the red circle here and there's the menu and there's also the private windows so you can open that here and you are in the private mode and you can see all the details what will happen and you can even turn on the VPN which is a really nice thing I think it's the only browser which also has this built-in VPN mode so you can not only protect yourself against tracking from internet companies but also against tracking from your internet service provider and other bad things by using this free VPN by the way to turn on vpn is a little bit complicated so you can't you cannot just click here you have to go to the menu again go to settings again then go all the way down to advanced and here it's about in the middle so here you can just click and then vpn will be enabled you can also then bypass vpn for the full search engines which makes sense so you have still local information because it can yeah you cannot turn on or you cannot change it to a specific country uh, it looks like opera will use some kind of country where vpn could be far away and then you get local news or local information from some different country so it makes actually shoe, uh, sense to bypass but of course you have to be careful about that but apart from that it's pr pretty easy to activate so now we are in a private windows and have enabled vpn and we can also here go and block trades and block ads and everything uh, if we want so that's really good so uh, now we are uh, almost as protected as ever possible of course it's not not a sandbox and the speed can be pretty slow but we are really close to that and then you have privacy and VPN turned on and that's a good thing and uh, yeah highly recommended always so that's it for now I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time